Welcome to another episode of After School Kids Lab. Every week we post a fun video of us making a craft, doing a science experiment, playing a game, or practicing a skill. This week we are going to be making phloam, which is kind of somewhere in between slime and foam. Here are some things that you'll need to make phloam. One thing that you're going to need for phloam that's kind of special is you're going to need styrofoam. Now, we actually had some box items that included styrofoam, so we're gonna use those for our phloam. But you could also use things like styrofoam cups, and those would work too. Another thing you're gonna need is something called borax. This is often used in laundry detergent, but we're gonna be using it differently today. So as you know, for all of our after school kids lab activities, you need a parent's supervision and permission. Another thing that you're gonna need is Elmer's glue. And if you've ever done slime before, you know that this is an important ingredient. Uh, because we do slime a lot here, we have it in a bulk container, but you might have the regular sized Elmer's glue bottles and those are just the same thing. If you wanna add color to your phloam, you're also going to need some food coloring. You can use gel food coloring like we are gonna be using or you can use the liquid version. For measuring things, you're gonna need measuring cups. And for mixing things, you're gonna need bowls and spoons. To break up the styrofoam, you're gonna need either something like a cheese grater, again, be very careful with things like this, or you can use a blender, which I think is probably the most fun. You're also going to need some hot water, some warm water, and to contain your mess, you're really going to want some gallon Ziploc bags. First, we're going to prepare our styrofoam and we're gonna use the blender method first. So we're gonna break our styrofoam into little pieces and we're gonna fill it up about halfway. Okay, the next thing we're gonna to add to our styrofoam is about a cup and a half of water. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna put the top on. Yeah. And then we're gonna blend. I probably should have mentioned it gets a little loud. Now, when it comes to the consistency of your styrofoam, you don't want to pulverize it into dust. We want to have sort of like little bead pieces. Uh, that works best for the phloam. This looks pretty good. If you don't have a blender or don't want to use yours for crunching up your styrofoam, you can use a cheese grater. Be careful not to get your hands near the metal of the cheese grater because parts of the cheese grater can be very sharp. Just like with the blender, you want to break down your styrofoam into tiny bead-sized pieces for your phloam. The next thing we need to do is mix our borax with very warm water. So we have two teaspoons of borax. And again, just be really careful with this. We don't want to get it in our eyes or mouths or anything like that. Okay, and then we're going to mix our borax with a half a cup of very warm water. And then we stir it until the borax has completely dissolved into the water. You just need anything, just the water, right? Okay. Then we're going to set that off to the side. Next, we're going to mix a fourth a cup of Elmer's glue. It's your favorite. Then we're going to mix in with that a fourth a cup of water, preferably warm water. And we're gonna mix the glue and the water all together. Once the water has cooled down, you're ready to mix all of your ingredients. Now we've already made kind of a mess here. This part can get messy too, but to help us out, we're gonna put it all inside of this gallon Ziploc bag. And this is gonna help us when we're mixing it. All right, first we're gonna add in our borax mixture carefully. There we go. Then we're gonna add in about a cup of our styrofoam and then we're gonna add in our glue mixture. Last of all, we're going to add in a few drops of our food coloring. Once you have everything in the bag, you can let a little bit of the air out, zip it up, start mixing. Once you're 
your mixture starts to form chunks, you can take those out. You'll probably have some extra liquid at the bottom and that's okay. Once you have removed your foam from the Ziploc bag, it's time to play with it. You will notice the mixture is a little bit sticky and squishy, but obviously a lot of fun. When you are done playing with your foam, you can store it in an airtight container to use again. If you ever want to get rid of your foam or extra ingredients from your mixture, make sure they are thrown away. Do not put foam down any drains because it could clog them. Now it's time for me to ask you some questions. After all, this is After School Kids or Ask Lab. So, how would you describe the feeling of phloem? My biggest helper said he thought it felt slimy and bumpy at the same time. Also, did you notice anything interesting about phloem while you were playing with it? Maybe something even surprised you? My littlest helper was very pleased to find out that her phloem bounced, kind of like a bouncy ball. My biggest helper even figured out a way to roll and bounce a ball of phloem with a toy monster truck. But before you launch your phloem into the air, please ask permission from an adult. Flying foam could get messy. Also, what part of making phloem did you enjoy the most? My biggest helper really liked using the blender for something new. Last of all, did you find any creative ways to play with phloem? My littlest helper enjoyed naming her balls of phloem and feeding them air with a plastic spoon. Because obviously if phloem would eat anything, it would be air. My biggest helper made a phloem monster, which he brought to life with magic. He also really liked just cutting up phloem into as many pieces as possible. The possibilities are nearly endless when it comes to playing with phloem. Let us know how you did with phloem by posting a comment, photo, or video below our Facebook post. We would love to hear about all of your After School Kids Lab experiences. Thanks for joining us for After School Kids Lab. We hope you enjoy making phloem. Next week, we're gonna be playing a game called Break the Ice. Until then, bye!